So, I'm gonna apologize to you, my viewers. I haven't been putting out a video. I haven't put out a video in a while. I've had some, uh, a family issue that had to be taken care of. And, um... Anyway, that is why. Um, anyway. So, I apologize for not putting out a video. But, I'm gonna put one out now. I want to put a disc brake on the front wheel. Uh, I don't have to because I got a hydraulic brake in the back. I think it's going to be sufficient enough. But I just think it makes the bike look better. What I want to do is put this disc brake in here. The problem with this is that this front wheel here is free wheel is a free wheel so the actual axle actually doesn't spin it's stationary so I'm gonna have to come up with something to attach this rotor to the um, to the wheel so it can spin as the wheel spins right Today. The plane fighter has been with DSA on drugs, and she says it was literally off and it was really just off. He says all he was required to do was to use the DSA. Let's listen. So, uh, when do you first hear this? I'm going to hear this one. 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 I'm going to hear this one.
but went to me instead and, Oops. Ba and basically said I said it! I said it! Go ahead. But basically Oops. said that uh, she was a knight. Uh, Can I see that email yes. about sending people to your house on the line? So tell me why, if you have a contract with him that basically says, here's, here's a bunch of go-nuts, direct, produce, do everything, I'm sick. Then why is it that you get to say, well, I don't like what you did, give me all my money back? Well, he did. Because you, you, you delegated the whole thing to him, basically, well, other than him showing up and playing my mom. Well, yeah, but I didn't tell him to do post-production. I'm just going to try to line this up as uh, straight as I can. No, I'm not hot gluing the rotor to the plate I know, you're or good. anything. Oh. Or anything. It's just to mark where I have to drill so the rotor doesn't move around while I'm marking it. Thank you. That ain't. <laughs> Here's the plate I made to bolt the rotor onto. Which works out pretty good. And obviously I'm gonna clean it up, like round it off and everything. But first, I need to figure out a way to get this onto the hub of the front wheel and so this is going to go on here i got to get this nut off this is going to go on here roller is going to be on here and the only thing that i, I came up with which i think is going to be okay is um I got these pe pieces of angle iron, put one on one side, one on the other, weld them to the hub, then weld this onto it, and then I can bolt the rotor onto here. The problem with this is, it, which is not actually a problem, right? It's mostly everybody. See the way the threads are going? For me to do this, I'm going to put the, the rotor on the right-hand side. The way the hub is. Um... I can't put it on the left-hand side because then I'd have to turn the wheel around. Sorry, the, the wheel would be on backwards, right? The only way for me to put this rotor on the left-hand side is for me to change, switch this hub around. But it won't work because the offset of the hub is on this side and it would stick out too much on this side the only other way i can do it is remove the tire and flip the tire around but honestly i'm not going to go through that because if you guys ever watched the sexy machine build the hard time i had trying to refill a tire a front tire on the sexy machine. I spent days and days trying to re trying to fill it up. 
So I'm not going to do that. I don't think there's going to be a problem. I know there's not going to be a problem with me having it, the rotor on the right hand side. Here's how uh, the rotor came out. It's under nice. Uh, the bearing, if I ever want to change the bearing on here, I won't be able to get it off through this end because the hole on the, um, the flat plate here is not big enough. But I can always get it out through this gap right there. Right, and then I can put a new bearing in through the gap and then just hammer it down through here. So, yeah, that's how it came out. I think it came out pretty good. It just needs a grinding and, um, and some painting. Okay, so I got the rotor done. Uh, obviously, I just need to clean it up and paint the rim and, and, um, and everything. I got the backrest done, and yeah, it wasn't much, but at least I got a little bit done. On my next video, I'm hoping the bike will be completely done. On my next video, I'm going to make my own handlebars for the bike. Uh, I got to put on the foot pegs, like the foot rests. Uh, it's actually a two-seater. So I'm going to put pegs on the back and on the front to rest the feet. And, uh, yeah, and hopefully it'll all be complete by, uh, by the next video. Except, obviously, for the painting. The painting, then, is going to be on the last video. So there'll probably be two more videos of, uh, of this bike, and hopefully I'll be able to ride it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on my next one. Cheers.